Your girl is a Taurus sun. Focus on your peace, moving forward. If it shows up half-baked, half-cooked, half-made, half-ready, release it. Period. Stop forcing shit that's no one. Ain't gonna hold nobody. Ain't gonna fake shit, ain't gonna hold shit, ain't gonna make shit up. I love what I do. Cause I'm tap the fuck in. I'ma read this motherfucking course yeah. left, right, up, down, sideways, sideways. Tap the fuck in. You hear me? Yeah, I read Mirror it. two. Tap the fuck Backwards in. In reverse. Yeah. I'ma read these bitches. Hello, Cancer. Welcome. Let's get into your messages. This will be for Cancer. Any placement. Flip and switch to energy. Take the resonates only from the multiple scenarios that will come out in this collective Cancer reading. Anything you need to know about me is down below. Let's see what spirit, the Holy Spirit, wants you to know. Some of you could be stepping into a leadership role or you look up to someone that is. For cancer, multiple scenarios, any placement, imagination. Some of you could be wanting to create something new here. Let your inner child run wild. Someone definitely may have a, a very creative mind. You're needing to put those thoughts into action. Let's see. For cancer, we got judgment, high yourself. Oh, okay. So someone's mind could definitely be running wild here. They need to have discernment with judgment. We will clarify. For cancer, shame, divine healers. Someone has guilt and insecurities. Okay, what else for cancer? Partnership and love, and then gifts at the bottom of the deck. Let's clarify. So, definitely could be connected to a business partner, friendship, or a lover here. There's some kind of shame and judgment. Imagination could be things that you wanted, like fantasy, ideas, expectations. I'm hearing perspective. Seeing, thing one, seeing things one way. Let's see. Cut the deck on self-love, creations, intentions. Focus on desires of the heart, self-worth, expansion, and manifestation. I told a couple of clients of mine today with the shame card they got, um, if, you, if you're not proud about what you're doing, then don't do it. If you can't be you or do you out loud, then you shouldn't be doing it. If you feel like you have to be foxy or high who you are or begin to express yourself if you're hiding it. Okay. Let's see. What is it? Energy for cancer, please. Something about fulfillment. Your wish is coming true. What you want for yourself. Or this is someone connected to you. Or someone you know. Doubts, lonely, cancer energy with the four cups. Negativity, missed opportunity, not hopeful, discontent. Yeah, someone's not living their ideal life with imagination and doubts. Someone feels like they're not good enough. Negative thinking patterns. Imagination for cancer, faith, fortune, will of fortune, karma, cycles, divine intervention, divine detour, Dieter, interesting. Some of you could know someone named Dee Dee. All right, your name could start with a D. Uh, fate, fortune, what's this related to? Loss. Five of Pentacles, Taurus energy, rejection, not feeling enough, missing someone, left out in the cold, wounded, rejection, imagination, detour, cycle. There's a relationship that has closed out. Someone has been left out in the cold, but their imagination is running wild on what it could be, what it should be. Okay. I'll come back to that if I have to, but someone feels like they've been isolated from you, left out in the cold, or this is you from a partnership that they would like to be in. Maybe they made a bad decision, judgment, and they feel bad, shame. This person was a gift to them, a, a person that they celebrated with, someone that helped them, gift. Okay, judgment for cancer, divine feminine. On the upright, I got intuitive, nurturing, creative, and magnetic warrior energy. On the downside, I have wounded insecurities, codependency, victim. Some of you are in a codependent relationship situation where you're ex expecting something more, accepting the bare minimum from a particular partnership over here. Okay. 
um some of you this is someone you're dealing with they're in a relationship where they're not getting enough they need to reevaluate judgment and wake up to it because there is two people here under this magnifying glass of spirit spirit is watching this connection this this union here with yin definitely could be a twin for some of you one more for judgment for cancer the sun empowerment heart chakra opening leo energy strength compassion happiness truth revealed this is enlightenment and a wake up i got yin and sun is yang so definitely a divine partnership here someone's going through a spiritual awakening or need to in order to get out of this codependent energy definitely dealing with twin energy with 5d tele uh, telepathy but spirit could also be using your dreams to communicate with you with dream messages and spirit guides signs and synchronicity someone's an astro traveler it says astro travel right there in the corner also sending some kind of dream messages here uh with higher self and judgment could be using dreams to put a certain thought process on someone's mind with the enlightenment and truth revealed okay and again some of you are getting downloads from spirit in the 5d what's shame for cancer oh this is someone you're closely connected to shame that's a lot the union there it is present day and freedom toxicity always a hidden factor so there's the same two people except this bird is also spirit the same two people under this magnifying glass and even y'all's card of partnership is a number two for partnership so definitely something to do with a twin flame dynamic can't escape it it keeps coming out okay so you could feel shameful for dealing with a certain damn two of cups until death and the disharmony and inner child inner child right here what is going on okay so in the stalemate okay hold up let me get out the bottom of this deck but bottom of the deck is a factor for me inner child here and then i have inner child here something about healing and learning but uh and being youthful being playful and a great imagination running wild for somebody but my clarifications are union freedom and present but i seen at the bottom of the deck underneath the toxicity in this order because the toxicity is y'all's bottom of the deck card but right behind that was a partnership until dead tires apart learning karmic lessons maturity structure disharmony between two people so for some of you your partner or you are in a relationship with somebody else where there's some kind of lack of harmony lack of balance but they are called towards you they deal with you they call you they text you y'all are having sex they want to come your way but they haven't closed out a cycle already behind the scenes it's giving third party for some of you this is someone that won't let you go as you're trying to move forward or this is you having a hard time letting someone go that has moved forward the cycle has closed out it says karma cycles divine intervention divine detour will of fortune the will of fortune is literally a will the tables are turning they're spinning the clock is going in the right position but um this bound energy with the chains of the devil capricorn energy stuck trauma by energy vampire someone won't let someone go a partnership right here behind it two of cups is cancer energy could be you but let's see they won't let you go or this is you having a hard time letting someone go union freedom someone wants to take a leap of faith or they did take a leap of faith impulsively and put themselves in a situation that is unfavorable because there's a third party or someone else in the mix someone has been fucking around sucking around licking around all of that they're worried about place judgment being placed on them regardless spirit is saying listen we want to love on you we, we want to give you love don't worry about these people walking away and abandoning you don't worry about these people standing here judging you but like like i said if you got to be shameful about it then you shouldn't do it if you got to be sneaky about it then you shouldn't do it and if you sneaking how about you be you out loud right present day gratitude abundance positivity tranquility success some of you feel bad for moving forward or leaving a partnership behind it was all you knew or this is your person freedom union someone is worried about what people think if they were to move on or if they failed a marriage or if they failed a relationship with their child's father or mother someone's concerned about society or what others will say or put put out there on them 
Now, for some of you, someone feels like they dropped the ball on you. You're moving forward. You're taking a leap of faith. They simply can't let go with the devil as a hidden factor at the bottom of the deck. They're wanting forgiveness. They're wanting this partnership back. They're wanting to start over. They want to focus on present day and forget the past, the toxicity of it. Well, let's see. Okay. What's partnership and love for cancer? Venus in reverse. Romance, love, beauty. This is Venus energy because partnerships and love is Venus energy. And then here I have a Venus energy in reverse. Creative arts. That's the imagination over there. Wealth, harmony. That's that disharmony I saw. Attraction in reverse. Someone has fallen out of love with the person that they're with. That's why they're cheating. And offer in reverse. So some of you are in a third party relationship and they're not giving to you, but they haven't said that they didn't want you it's giving limbo um they're not choosing you or this is you not being chose or this is you not making the pick but um put yourself where you go i definitely feel like a relationship is out of balance though but there's another person in the mix making it uh, giving them the ability to cope with the lack that they're getting from their partner it's like you could be enabling them or they're enabling you to stay another day. I got let me love you down on the radio. Definitely a sexual connection going on here. Or someone has lost attraction for anyone else but a particular person. It's the only person they would like to be with. Abundant and clarity. It's like that's the only third party. I'm telling you, somebody cheating in separation. There was a breakup. Some of you, the, the third party is emotionally cheating. They can't get over their ex. They just simply can't. Or oh, this is you. I got longing for a third party, a karmic partner. They have clarity that their abundance, their success came from one particular person that they can't get over. Their ability to move forward, move on, create in or do. Life anew, life another is with someone else that they're distant from. Someone's trying to deplete someone's energy, too, or they have been, whether they've been trying or not. It could be arguments, disputes, confrontation, abuse. Let's see. What gives for cancer? Self-worth and illusions. Healing unworthiness, boundaries, expectations, values, and high vibration. Not seeing clearly escapism, addiction, fantasies, and codependency. I said fantasy. And here's codependent right here. That's why I fell right there and over the judgment. So codependent and then codependency. And then I got self-worth with gifts. Some of you are blocking your spiritual gifts, your abundance, your everything by holding on to a particular situation or giving it too much of your energy instead of moving forward. You could be in a, a relationship that has run its course. Karmic partner showed up. And then now we have release. Pisces energy with the Eight of Cups. Surrender. Emotional release. Clearing. Walking away. Eight of Cups. Purge and release. Some of you, someone has panic and illusion by the hands of spell work over your connection or over your gifts. They have blocked your gifts. I'm in a water sign reading. You could be very, very tapped in. Very spiritual. Someone has blocked your gift. They cause a sense of confusion for you. So you may have been feeling unworthy. You have been guarded with boundaries. You have been in your ego with expectations. Some of you in high vibration, putting yourself on a pedestal. It's all an illusion to block your gifts. But for a lot of you, someone's working on themselves in order to overcome some kind of codependency in order to give to you. What is you? One more forgives. Pluto, letting go. Fell over this feminine energy again. Let me read judgment. Past is affecting the present. Suffering in silence. Let the past go. Let go. Wow. It say, let the past go. Letting go. Someone can't let go. Y'all been getting this forever. Someone's trying to hold on to someone for their gifts. Because I'm clarifying gifts. What they have. What they bring to the table. And you know what? Death right behind the gifts. And that literally says death card. Man, listen. If somebody don't let whatever the fuck this is go. They're going to be forced to. Shit. Wow. 
lack betrayal someone feels betrayed let me read judgment that's the heaviest card for me even though shame is pretty heavy let's see judgment is if you make the right decision judgment then you ain't got to be shameful shit or if you avoid the wrong crowd or whatever let's let's read the discernment card card number 46 some of you definitely need to break that number down 10 which would be closing out a cycle shit or you could be 46 and if you at that age you're just trying to make some changes okay we at midlife here let's not lead this life without growth all right judgment higher self precision rationality analysis discernment damn i'm trapped in i said discernment this isn't a time to act under an imagined sense of urgency and then we got imagination right there wow keep your emotions from running away with you turn to your higher self engage your power of reason and trust your inclination to step away from the drama eight of cups let go and the intensity of the moment study and analyze all factors of the situation and allow your higher self to guide you to the right end sleep on it at night better yet sleep on it for three nights then head to your higher self's message leave it to me now someone's higher self is trying to step in for them to make better decisions focus on themselves with self-worth well let's see what the tarot cards have to say and higher self energy with judgment is clarified by intuitive nurturing creative magnetic empowerment heart chakra opening cut compassion happiness truth reveal on a downside insecurities codependency and victim mentality this is stepping into your higher self and everything that you have potentially embedded within you but someone is choosing the codependent route or staying in a relationship that's not healthy for them and it may not be toxic it may just simply be you don't even like the person you're with anymore someone has attraction in reverse in their partnership falling out of love a relationship is over, but it's still being called a relationship. That's crazy. Interesting. Cut the deck on the Empress. That's that divine feminine energy. Someone could be after you for your energy with gifts and toxicity over there. Tower. <laughs> All right, truth is going to be brought out into light. Universe is stepping in with lightning. I seen that tower, and here we go with the lightning. All right, now, don't play with it. What is going on in Cancer's energy? The Emperor acting a damn fool, sideways, Aries energy. This is stability. This is this is authority. Someone could be losing their rank, a fall from grace. Oh, Lord. Um, a child's father could lack. Someone could be on the verge of a divorce, a breakup. Someone's business could be in shambles someone's uh inability to be consistent to be protected to be grounded to be a father supportive whatever is on the on the on the <laughs> on the thread it came out sideways one half of a twin for some of you with yin and this divine masculine of the emperor some of you could be your own boss some of you are at odds with a boss some of you have been fucking your boss yeah there's a lady here that has been fucking her boss with shame yep abundance tranquility success there's a woman here that has been fucking her boss for success i'm telling you yep sure is i see it what else king of pentacles this is someone's boss for somebody i gotta get it out yeah but for a lot of you there's a masculine here that would like to provide for you or you you could be this masculine and someone could have been trying to use you for your money as well someone has been focusing on their stability working on their stability some of you have a masculine coming in that wants something solid with you but you have to release your past first or they do in order for this connection to come together union is here past effect in the present let go illusions codependency what else for cancer what is going on the hierophant tourist energy a spiritual connection this emperor is this hierophant and the rank saw so the empress um so definitely a divine counterpart twin flame dynamic but some of you are spiritually high ranking there's a lot that you're supposed to be doing on this earthly plane but you have to learn your stuff first so that you can teach it or should i say remember your stuff because life is lessons but sometimes we already experience these things we just need a trigger to wake up to it but anyways, um, there could definitely be something you hear about beliefs. Someone has a traditional gender role. Things should be a certain way. Emperor to the King of Pentacles. They want to lead. They want to be the masculine. Okay. Now, you masculine energies could have trouble with this. A controlling dynamic. 
or this is a feminine energy that has been trying to run a household for some of you some of you religious factors have gotten in the way of your connection you feel that you're supposed to stay where you are because that's how it's been brought up that's how you were raised okay it's given tradition some of you have learned something new spiritually speaking someone's going through a spiritual awakening but they're focusing on their stability what else for cancer King of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. What else? What's the Page of Pentacles? King of Cups at the bottom of the day. Could be a choice between two men. Someone's not sure who that child's father is as well. King, Queen of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. I got a soulmate pair here. Yeah, I got a whole family. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. King of Swords, though, there's a breakup. Someone either moved on and got remarried or met their twin soulmate, but put something else on hold, or the divorce is hanging in the balance, a move out is hanging in the balance, or someone is simply having a hard time surrendering. Okay, someone could be trying to slow you down. Some of you put school off, put school on hold, had to go there with the institution and the Page of Pentacles. You need to finish what you start here. Introspection. What's the hangman? Pisces energy. Or so if something is waiting, something is on hold, someone's resting, someone's thinking, plotting, planning. Okay, who is this King of Swords? Reverse. Wheel of Fortune. Somebody that won't let the fucking wheel turn. This person is weird, man. Or you're weird. So, Wheel of Fortune is here. With the Wheel of Fortune, again, in words and in tarot. But it's coming out here saying that this king of swords can't let the past go. They're trying to avoid the inevitable. Now, this could be somebody you're dealing with. They're a person. Like, let's say they're married or they have a roommate or they have a boyfriend or girlfriend. That person could be having a hard time moving forward. How can the king of swords be a girlfriend? Could be a masculine, a stud or something. No, don't. Someone's having a hard time, a masculine energy, letting the past go or letting shit be what it's supposed to be. Someone's trying to control fate. Someone's wicked. They really are in their ego with all of this sense of control. Three of Wands. They're trying to control what's next, what's coming towards you. Or this is you. Now, for a lot of you, you you or your person is having a hard time closing out cycles. So everything's unpredictable and chaotic. You don't know what's next, up or down. Mm -hmm. This masculine has... Ooh, I almost said something brutal has put a woman in a position to be defeated not knowing what's next for her and somehow controlled her whole life blocked her from moving forward there's a woman here being abused interesting what's the the emperor The cancer, the emperor. Three of cups could be a third party for some of you. Got the five of pentacles again. Someone has been left out on the cold. Taurus energy. What's the emperor? is clarified with the empress but in reverse someone has been overextending someone could have lost a child page of cups or this woman neglects her child or this person has controlled this woman because he has a child with her because he came out sideways and she in reverse let's not forget he came out sideways okay so gullible naive codependent there's a divine feminine energy here that has become called dependent or someone wants you in this energy. I got Kim on the radio when love is calling your name. I think he's a Gemini. Okay. Taurus and Libra energy, if I did not say with this empress. What's going on with this emperor and this empress and this distorted energy? There's a... The hierophant again and the hangman again. I don't know what the fuck going on, but spirit talking to me. I got the hierophant twice and the hangman twice. So 
There's a distorted couple here putting on a facade for some of you, trying to pretend to be someone that they're not. Mm -hmm. But uh, this empress could be in a distorted energy because someone's trying to siphon her energy as well. This corrupt masculine. For some of you, you're in a relationship where your partner is lacking stability. They do not help. You're wearing, you're, you're carrying a heavy load. It's very burdensome. But you stay due to children and your inability to see shit for what it is. Gullible with the page of cups. Being gullible and naive. That you think that you can make this work. Or this is somebody you was dealing with. They thought that they can make something toxic work. Okay, what's this King of Pentacles for cancer? The six of pentacles. This is someone that wants to support you. They could even pay you. Could be a boss. Taurus energy twice. The king of pentacles is Taurus. The six of pentacles is Taurus. There could be a. Who is this king of pentacles? I'm hearing turn off the lights in here, baby. That's Kanye Power. All right. All right. Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords with the King of Swords. There's been a breakup. Or two people that are still together with no emotional ties. It's getting weird. Let me see. What's this King of Swords, King of I mean King of Pentacles, Knight of Swords has to say? one-sided relationship someone gave up on something but someone is codependent i feel empty without you they keep charging in trying to get some kind of money or use money to control someone or this person needs is needed for their money so that is the control rather on purpose or just just because like that's how it's set up especially if they're married one more i got prince also definitely a gemini i remember his sign what's this some of y'all doing with a gemini i got two gemini's that just came on king of pentacles finances are a problem damn i'm sitting here clarifying money and here go money and what else jealousy and possessive someone is trying to hold on to someone for financial gain Rather energetically or in real life. If you're in a relationship for financial gain or your person is, that's just toxic. Show them toxic. Let it go. I got let it go, let it go. Like frozen. No, they stuck on stupid instead of froze. You know, in their own life. <laughs> Folks on their own shit. Shit, it's all frozen. Nah, this motherfucker need to go on somewhere. Don't get stuck. Keep going. Shit. What's this hierophant? Because that came out over there somewhere. What's Hierophant? So did this hangman. Hierophant. Shit, fuck it. They won't let go. I already see that. And this is some kind of spiritual growth, spiritual lesson, lessons to be learned, enlightenment. Now, you're teaching them a lesson or they're teaching you a lesson. Or this marriage is divorce is hung up in the balance pending. You're the love of my life with this Hierophant. Someone wants to marry you or someone's obsessed with you or you're stuck in a relationship where you feel like you should be getting more, but that person is in love with you, fights, arguments, and conflict, or this is your person. Let's say they in a marriage or a commitment, relationship, partnership, roommate, goddammit, got, uh, roommate dynamic, goddammit. That is one of them is one side of relationship. One of them is obsessed with the other, and the other one is ready to let go. Now, they can be like they're living together, or in certain cases, someone has already let go, moved on, moved out. Yet that person's like, no, you're the only one for me. I can't let you go. Rather spiritually or physically. They showing up, popping up. What's this hangman? I literally let it fall on the floor. I'm intimidated by you. One more. There's a third party. I feel like I can't give you what you need. Somebody cheating. Instead of getting a divorce or instead of breaking up, moving on, moving out. They keep shit on pause. They keep shit on hold, pending, instead of dealing with it, and they still cheat. Someone's so focused on somebody else other than the shit that they need to focus on. Someone's intimidated by you, or this is you intimidated. Feel like you can't get somebody what they need, so you cheat, or you just have multiple people involved. 
It's giving me having multiple people makes me feel more confident about myself because they're not ready. If you're already involved with this person, they're not ready for whatever y'all already in. So they definitely may be doing things behind the scenes. Cheating. And that's something that they have to heal regardless. The reading is about letting go. I have seen it. Okay. Who is this Queen of Pentacles with this Page of Pentacles? This is somebody's child's mother with an earth sign child. I dive in and I relate. Someone has been in and out of their baby's mother or wife's life. For some of you, this Queen of Pentacles needs to focus on herself because she is having a hard time being consistent with you or this is you. Some of you have been going to school and dropping out some every semester or something. This is weird. Page of Pentacles is a student. What's this? Someone could be questioning the paternity of a child because someone was a hoe or had a whole night. What's this? Diving in and out of relationships. This is the end. Someone, I feel, someone has let go of a relationship of a person. They begin to focus on themselves, learn. I still have growing to do. The Page of Pentacles is a student. Focus on themselves, learn lessons, close out cycles. Could even be into tarot witchy or whatever don't matter they moved on they moved away but someone is having a hard time letting it the fuck go what's this is the end i have sexual fantasies about you i will find my way back to you how that makes sense how is the end but you coming back man listen how is it the end but you coming back it's over with damn king of swords man somebody keeps going back to their ex they keep standing in a relationship where they're not happy or your ex keep coming for you or you keep trying to get back with somebody that don't want you no more however it go put yourself where it go flip it switch it bop it king of swords that's annoying because y'all keep getting this energy i'm not ready king of swords someone's not committal you deserve better than me i feel terrible for hurting you i check on you from afar Someone knows that they're not ready for something long term or something new, but they stay stuck on super or they stay stuck on you. They keep watching you. They keep cheating. They keep texting you. However they go, but they won't pick you or this you. They keep adding more people to their roster, but they have no intention on picking one or this you. They keep stepping in and out of their home, creeping, sneaking around like a fox, but they have no intention on leaving that person. But they do intend to keep cheating or this is you. Or someone has been trying to block your person from coming towards you by keep putting their own energy back into your life. Or this is you. Past is affecting the present. Yeah, I feel like I ruined everything. That's past energy. And maybe you did. What's gives? Maybe you need to let go of what has already happened. ED is not still happening, I-N-G. So why are we suffering, I-N-G, in a day like today how we suffering in today tripping off of yesterday this energy is weird and i get it a lot of people find themselves in this but let me make it clear you're dragging cinder blocks from yesterday into tomorrow what that mean you ain't even living in the present so every day you get up you tripping off yesterday and what's next for you what about living today what are your plans for today focus on you but no they reminiscing on what it used to be, feeling terrible for hurting you, or this is you still tripping off your past, some kind of trauma. Or this is the person you picked to spend your life with, still tripping off their past or their trauma. Gifts. You the person in my dream. That's what I'm saying. You were the best thing that ever happened to this person and they dropped the ball. Or they were the best thing that ever happened to you and you dropped the ball. Or you're in a relationship where you feel like you can have better, you can have more. You've already found the person you would like to be with, but you can't drop the ball on a relationship that's being guided for you to let go. But we have codependency. It's over. How about you focus on yourself? Or this is your person. Somebody needs to figure out what they want for themselves and how to get to that point of being self-made, self-sufficient, and has begun to care for themselves with self-care and self-love. Healing any unworthiness where they feel like they have to stay stuck on silly, stuck on stupid, stuck in a relationship where they no longer want. Or stuck with a person they're no longer attracted to. 
or stuck on an idea, imagination that no matter what, I'm going to get what I want. I'm going to get the person that I want. I'll check on them from afar. They're the person of my dreams. That's it for me. That's over with. It been over with. Whatever this is needs to be released. Peace.